right now from today's TMJ4. This is Live at 10 Sunday. Tonight at 10, a call for action after an alarming number of cars are being stolen in Milwaukee. Good evening, I'm Katie Crowther. Thanks for joining us tonight. This comes as one local mother speaks out on the death of her 16-year-old son, who was killed this weekend when the stolen car he was riding in with friends crashed. As Veronica Macias reports, the teenager had been arrested for carjackings twice before. This must stop. And father is going to start at home. Family and friends of D. Anthony Parks gathered to remember the 16-year-old who had promised to turn his life around. He did used to steal cars, but all that stuff had left behind him. And as soon as he get his life straight, this is what happened. Police say the teen was on probation and was one of dozens of teenagers in Milwaukee caught up in stealing cars. Without stiffer penalties, many of those teens who've already been caught are going right back to the streets to illegal activity. Something's got to be done. Something's got to happen with them. And nothing, doing nothing, which is precisely what's happening with them right now, is an option that's, re that's resulting in significant increases in that crime and significant increases in injuries and death. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett says the city is pushing for these young offenders to be held accountable in court. But he is also calling on parents to step in and do their part. Parents must make sure they know what their kids are doing, who they're playing with, who they're hanging out with, and what they're doing in their free time. Park's mother wishes she would have kept better track of what her son was up to, but she tells police it's hard to get through to teenagers. You can tell your child whatever you want to tell your child, that don't mean they're going to listen. They got their own mind. No matter what you teach your child, that don't mean they're going to go that route. That mother told Veronica that she does not believe a longer jail sentence would have made her son learn from his mistakes. She says his death is a direct result of hanging with the wrong crowd.